In this video, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing these um, eight hot cocos. So this is a holiday hot chocolate collection and it is made by MSRF Inc. in Chicago, Illinois. I tried to look this up online. I could find absolutely nothing on their website about this. I have I didn't couldn't find any pictures or anything. Um, so uh, we found it at Cracker Barrel and it was $9.99 at Cracker Barrel. So we're going to be uh, reviewing four at a time. So you have double chocolate, French vanilla, raspberry, gingerbread, salted caramel, hazelnut, toasted marshmallow, and peppermint. So one of the first ones that we'll review is the French vanilla. So I'm going to show you how this comes. It comes in a adorable, which the cup's stuck. There we go. They've got it stuck to the back. It comes in an adorable little cup like this, which you don't use this cup. That's just what they decided to put it in. Um, it is a packet like this, and each one of these packets is 100 calories. So no matter what flavor you get, it's 100 calories. But Kevin and I are gonna keep these cups because Kevin said uh, those would be adorable. You could use these as little Christmas ornaments and hang them on a tree. If you have a child that has a play kitchen, these would be cute for a play kitchen. There's all kinds of things that you could do with these little cups. So we're going to choose four and get them made. And when we get to the table, we'll show you which ones we chose. So the flavors we chose to review first are French vanilla and toasted marshmallow. Hazelnut and the double chocolate. If you all watched any of our videos before, you probably already guessed that because we usually try to pick the, the calmest flavors first. And if you have any uses for these besides what I named, you'll have to let me know. What would you do with these little cups? Because they are so adorable. I don't know um, if they're made to hold actually a liquid, but... I don't think they are. I mean, I think you could. I definitely think you could. I don't could. know. It says don't reuse the cup, so. No, but I definitely think you could put a drink in there. Right. I don't think it would leak out or anything. It's mm. sealed completely. Um, but it says uh, empty package of mix into your mug and six ounces of hot water. So that is how much is in here. It's, uh, it's half of one of these cups. Yeah. And they're all 100 calories a piece. So first we're gonna try the French vanilla. And I just did this with the hot water and the cake and the Keurig. It works really well. It's like having your own little kettle. Mm. Not bad. It's to, not very vanilla, but. To me it tastes just like traditional hot chocolate. Yeah, of course after we try something else, we might, exactly. if we try the double chocolate, we might think that's really vanilla. Toasted marshmallow. It's good though. It does have a, a little bit of a creaminess to it. It's not quite as creamy as some of the individual packages we can, we've had before, but it is does have a creaminess to it. It's a very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's a nice chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. That's definitely sweeter. Yes, I think I so too. I still think it's marshmallow. It just tastes more I know. Chocolate, I don't taste marshmallow at all. Just like the French vanilla, it might have, have had a touch of vanilla, but it wasn't really... If I was blindfolded, I would just say it's hot chocolate. Right, but um, that has a sweeter flavor to it, so maybe that's kind of a marshmallow. It's sweeter, but it doesn't necessarily... It's not necessarily like, oh, that's marshmallow, you yeah. know? Yeah, I agree. It's just a sweet chocolate. And this one's hazelnut? Hazelnut. Now, you would think hazelnut would be pretty bold. It's definitely different, and you do, it does taste like hazelnut. Oh, yeah. It's very nutty. Yeah, nutty. It's nice, yes. I actually really like that. I like that. It's different. And it's different than the first two, yeah. And this one's the double chocolate. Yeah, if you want to, like, sit on the couch one morning and read... Um, during the afternoon and read with a book or something, these would be nice. That double chocolate, there is a distinct mm -hmm. difference oh, yeah. because these were just like your typical hot chocolate, your regular, I'm gonna make this hot chocolate, regular. That one is uh, darker mm -hmm. and it is richer. Yeah, I agree. It, um, it is uh, more chocolatey, but now I'll be honest, out of the four, that's probably my least favorite. I agree. Because um, I, I would rather have just the, I think these are sweeter. Yeah. And the double chocolate made it not as sweet. So, yeah. So mine would be probably the marshmallow, then the vanilla, hazelnut, and then double chocolate. I'm in complete agreement. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, um, so that, that's good. That, yeah, that, that's good. So when we come back, we'll be trying the other four. So now we're going to be trying the rest of the box. We have the salted caramel, the gingerbread, raspberry, and peppermint. So we're going to try the salted caramel first. Who's this one? Gingerbread. Gingerbread smelled like a cinnamon when I was making it. Fresh tastes like chocolate. <laughs> I thought that too when I took my drink, but then I thought it tastes like regular chocolate. Then as I sit here and we just with my mouth closed, I thought it does leave a caramel residue yeah. in your mouth. It does have a little bit of a caramel aftertaste. And it, the lingering while you're, while you're taking your sip and it's going down your throat, it really does taste like regular chocolate. But the residue, which is odd, is caramel. Yeah, I get a little bit. No, yes. it's still mostly chocolate. Um, I like that. I think <laughs> I mean, it's, it's good. Nice sweet. Okay, so now this one is gingerbread. Yeah, this one's one, of my, like I said, it smelled like cinnamon when I was uh, making it. Tastes like cinnamon. I don't care for that. It's not bad. I don't, I don't mind that one. But I, I would, uh, if I was counting down to Christmas, of course, you've only got uh, eight days here. Um, and Kevin was like, why couldn't they have given you? He said, you know, because they covered up the middle one. Yeah, they could have given you They could have given you a mystery flavor. Or I said, why not eggnog? They could have given you one that tasted oh. like eggnog. Because um, you are paying $10 for it. Um, so it's not like it's cheap. Uh, that... Um, I would be disappointed on my day that I, I got that one. I just, it's not bad, but I don't care for the flavor of the, uh, the what, the ginger flavor. I just don't care for yeah, that flavor. I, I like it. And I love gingerbread, but yeah. I just don't like that particular flavor. Yeah, I, I would drink that one. I, so I like that one quite is a bit, actually. Raspberry? Mm -hmm. That has a, I thought it had a good mix of cinnamon and, and ginger. I thought it was a really good flavor. Now that I like. That tastes like the raspberry and chocolate from a box of chocolates, and you've yeah. melted it and put it in a cup. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a liquid raspberry chocolate dessert. If you there. like raspberry, I think you'd like that. Yeah, I like that one quite a bit. And then this last one is peppermint. 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 It's so light it's almost yeah. not there it, it's almost not there no yeah i would never i wouldn't think i would that never, was, never identify that as peppermint. yeah we put that one last because or i put that one last because i thought that that one would be the strongest one Gingerbread's i actually think the ginger the gingerbread's the strongest yeah. one um well the the peppermint and the salted caramel, honestly, if you were blindfolded or didn't know what flavors those were and tried them, you'd have no clue if those were what they No, said. if I wasn't searching for that caramel flavor, you then I wouldn't have... Picked uh, up any of that, really. No, I really, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't have. have thought about it and, you know, thought about, okay, what flavors left over in my mouth? I wouldn't have yeah. thought about It's that. good, though. It is a good flavor. It is good. Uh, what Just is your, like the peppermint's good. What is your favorite of these four? Gingerbread. See, and that I would, I would, that is uh, the one that I the one that I wouldn't want in the whole box. That would oh, be really? the one that I, I wouldn't want to drink. Um, out of these four, I really do like that salted caramel. I do too. Uh, but I also like the raspberry. Raspberry would probably be my last. And the peppermint's just not very strong. No, it's but just the chocolate. question is, do you think this is worth ten dollars? Not really. Keeping in mind that we bought a different advent calendar from Whole Foods and it was $15 yeah. and it was uh, hot chocolate. How many did that have? 12? It had 12. 12. Yeah. It had 12 and it was $15. This you only get eight for $10. No, I don't definitely do not think it's worth it. So that one would be more worth it than this one. And that one wasn't worth it. And this one's not worth it. <laughs> Um, but I mean, it's neat to have different flavors to try. It really is. It's kind of a neat thing. So if you don't mind doing that, go for it. Um, but you're better off buying your favorite flavor or buying an individual packs at like Walmart or Kroger or Meyer or wherever you get hot chocolate at. Um, buying the individual packs and just 
Just making them that way. They taste a lot better. We said this during, I think, that advent calendar video that uh, just the, they sell the Land of Lakes. Mm -hmm. The Land of Lakes, it comes in all different. I mean, it's amazing how many flavors they have. And it's in beautiful foil, um, like reds and metallics. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a richer... It's creamier absolutely delicious. I would just assume if you want to count down, buy those and you can count down yourself yeah. and have a different one every single day. I mean, these are good. They're not, they're not, they're not bad, yeah, but not a, lot of them, a lot of them just don't have the flavor for $10 that you would expect. Yeah, it tastes like chocolate. But I will be keeping these cups and doing something with them. If I don't put them on the tree, I'll do something with them. So if you have any ideas for what, you know, if you had these, what would you do with them? So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.